our candidate for the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump gains the support of the New England Police Benevolent Association during a brief stop in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. The police play such a big role in the lives of this country. Citing last week's shooting in San Bernardino, the Republican presidential frontrunner wants to provide local law enforcement with military surplus equipment and train them to use it. We've got to let our police have the finest equipment and the finest training, and if we don't, we're making a tremendous mistake as a country. I think if our law enforcement was allowed to carry better weaponry and show a force, it makes a better statement to people who are uh, thinking about doing things like uh, what happened out in California. The fallout from Trump's latest controversial comments had many protesting outside his rally. Some protesters saying his plan for a temporary ban on Muslim immigrants is un-American. I think that that is the concern that brings us here today, is the potential of a nationally elevated voice to awaken that fear and that, uh, that darker side among us. Trump stopped short of talking about his proposed ban, instead focusing his efforts on local law enforcement. After winning the support of New England officers, Trump announced he'll make police protection a top priority if elected. Anybody killing a police officer, death penalty, it's going to happen, okay? Now, even though Trump supporters may have been outnumbered here tonight, he says he's confident they'll make it to the polls in time for the primary. Live in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.